every day, one by one. I'm gonna try every recipe of Laura, starting from the very beginning. Come, join me on my challenge. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Ruta and welcome to the 273rd day of my challenge. These numbers are getting so long, it's like... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so today I'm gonna try another salad recipe for you and for myself and I'm really excited about that because I started to really love salads and I think Laura found the exact reason why. In the original recipe, she mentioned, mentions in the video I mean, uh, she mentions that she loves salad, but salads, but not boring ones. So I guess that's the reason. I just, I don't know, don't like boring salads. Laura's food, salads included, is never boring. So today's escarole salad with homemade croutons and olives, I believe will be really good. So if you're curious to see how it turns out, then keep on watching. We're gonna need one large head of escarole, washed, dried, and chopped into large chunks, quarter of a baguette, cut into cubes, four cloves of garlic, 80 grams of pitted black olives, half, quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, divided into two, and two tablespoons, one tablespoon of white wine vinegar, four cherry pickled peppers, seeds removed and chopped into bite-sized pieces, and salt and pepper. with the fancy sounding word, the croutons. <laughs> so here I have a large nonstick skillet to which at the same time I'm gonna add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and the garlic and over medium low heat, I'm gonna let everything preheat and cook for five minutes. Alrighty, now I'm gonna remove the garlic because it's done its job, it didn't infuse the oil with the garlickiness. So now I'm gonna add the bread cubes, I'm gonna increase the heat to medium high and cook for five minutes. When you are at this stage, that is, you see everything ready already, you know that the food is gonna be ready in like a minute or so. I'm so excited about that. So now it's basically the question of mixing everything together. So to the salad, I'm gonna add the olives, the pickled peppers, the remaining extra virgin olive oil, the white vinegar, white wine vinegar. Then I'm gonna season everything with some salt and pepper and just toss to combine. Man, do I miss my mom's huge, huge ball in Lithuania because this that never happens. I have a good track record of mixing this way though, don't you worry. <laughs> it's just everywhere. Okay, so now the last thing is to mix in the croutons and that's it. things are about to get serious when I laid the hair up because now to say I truly tasted the salad I need to collect a perfect bite meaning everything that's in it okay I just have another glance at this because I need now to assemble okay okay <laughs> okay this might take a while what else did we have? Mm, I forgot. I think I have everything. Wait, let's make the sandwich. Okay, I'm ready. Ah, are you? Almost, almost. That's crunchy. Mm hmm. Ooh, that tiny thing is a killer one. I couldn't find mild pickled with chili peppers, so I took the hot ones. My husband like, likes hot things. 
Mmm. Mmm. I have to be honest, I'm not very familiar with the term crouton, even though I heard of it. Maybe it's this super crun crunchy thing, bread meaning. I will guess it is. <sighs> okay, third time. I really want another bite. This is quite sour. Why? Okay, white wine vinegar, that's sour. And the pickled thing. This is a more sour salad, just so you know. Mm -hmm. My husband loves sour things. It's so interesting, there's not a drop of lemon juice, but because of the sour vibe I get, I feel like, let me just make it pretty again, <laughs> I feel like there is lemon juice in it, I'm guessing it's the vinegar, that's the side of not being, you know, very experienced. This is... This is a salad I know that my husband will approve of. Not sure about the bread. For me, it's fun. I'm thinking my husband might say like, what's that? Why is there bread in the salad? But other than that, this is a really good salad. It's really quick. The longest thing for me, honestly, now you will laugh, is... Okay, why do I want to show it as if you won't understand without showing? Doing this. Uh, I cannot really find Kalamata olives and these are the ones I absolutely love. They're my favorite olives, but they're sold with a stone, so this is quite a job to, you know, pit. It's more than 80 grams because I'm working towards making 80 grams these olives. Other than that, everything is super quick. So if you want another recipe of salad in your repertoire, this is a great one to try out, especially if, like Laura, you like more sour things. I'm okay with that. I'm quite sure that I will make this again just because I love, like, I love my sides and salads to be different a lot. I don't like eating the same thing over and over again. So this is something quick, something really easy, and there's a lot of greenness, which I love. So if you want to see how Laura makes it, you can check it out there. Or the link is there actually this is just a picture to compare this and that and if you want the recipe check the description box down below as always you will find it in american and the metric system so you know anyone and everyone can make it and that's it i'm gonna go and enjoy my salad right now i wish you a happy i don't know nice day or evening whatever is it for you and <laughs> it's always so hard to finish uh, when you have like ready, maybe I should just put it like that, right? And then I can talk like an adult human being. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!